the Thoughty or Tea podcast. One thing that I want to ask is, you know, because things like suicide carries a lot of stigma behind it. And you even have a lot of people kind of shaming people who have committed suicide or think about suicide as being weak or not caring about the people around them. <laughs> Those are just a few, obviously, but what what are kind of the common misconceptions of stigma that you've heard around suicide? I definitely think being weak, <laughs> that's a really mm. huge one. Um, because actually, I don't think it's not a weak thing to go through with it. At all. No, and nobody who's <laughs> experienced that yeah, will that, say that, that other people are weak. <laughs> like it's it's, it's no. not an easy, easy thing to deal with in life. It's it's the opposite. Not at all. And another thing is, um, from personal experience, and I think hearing other people's stories and uh, research and stuff, um, the reason why people decide or choose to end their life by suicide or attempt to do that is because they are trying to run away from something but mm. it's not an external thing it's internal and they simply cannot get away from it so the feelings are very strong and the only way that you can think of getting away from it is probably sleep but you can't sleep forever because you have to wake back up yeah so exactly that's that's another thing that i used to exactly. do a lot me too just get, get away from to sleep, everything sleep. Else. stay asleep yeah <laughs> I don't have sleeping to in yeah not dealing with the world today um actually when you're depressed that's why you can either become like an insomniac because you're too stressed mm. and thinking that you can't sleep or you just sleep forever but yeah i've done both but i i do think like the dark darkness of your thoughts um just mm. can become a bit too much yeah, and it just feels like a, a natural and easy option and route to take, you know? Like, you just won't have to deal with any of the worldly stuff again. And it, to be fair, I, where, where you go, we don't know properly. Um, mm. But I don't know, whatever it is surely can't be worse than this is what, what it feels yeah. like. But yeah, that's what I think. I think, I think there's, a, there's a big stigma around... Um, suicide being selfish that it's something that you know people are like oh you're gonna affect the people around you and yeah it is true like people are gonna have to mourn you and grieve and you know it's it's not an easy thing for a social network to for anyone that knows you to to deal with or hear about but there, there is also an aspect that you know it's not very easily put into words that that most people could understand but a lot of people who choose to do who choose to take their life it's not something that is a is is often like a, a selfish thing for a lot of people they can feel like they're a burden especially yes. if it's a long-term mental health condition and they feel like they're actually just by being there they are reducing the mood, depressing other people around them, that they're causing issues for people around them and that they are the problem in, in a certain family system or a certain social social network. And so they feel that it's it's genuinely something that will help other people around them and that it's a good thing and that them being there is a bad thing. And it's not easily, uh, I guess, relatable to a lot of people, but when you are in the midst of that really severe period where, you know, you are contemplating that a lot, it's, it is very apparent. You don't, you don't care about yourself at all. And you feel very much like, you know, it, it, things would be better if you weren't there. And it does, it's hard so, for people to understand. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And in a way, it sort of feels like you're doing everyone else a favor by exactly. not being there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I totally understand that and agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, and another thing I think is people, uh, maybe like sometimes people might be driven towards suicide because unlike us, we do have some good support systems in place. People who don't have support systems in place mm. may be more likely to go towards that route. 